What is up guys, my name is Steven Womack. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today, just a little quick tip. I've been getting this question a lot how to upload to Instagram with a good quality. Usually when we upload to Instagram or a lot of you have the problem that Instagram compresses the picture and just the image doesn't look as sharp anymore. It looks kind of blurry or pixelated, just bad quality in general. And I'm just gonna show you two things that I do um, to try and ensure a really high and crispy quality on my Instagram uploads. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications bell to not miss out on any of my future videos. And if you need anything, always feel free to DM me on Instagram, at Steven Womack is my handle. Now the first thing that I do is when I upload the image, I make sure that I have a high speed or really fast internet connection. If you don't have that at home, maybe search some place in your university, at school, somewhere where there's a really quick internet connection and upload the image there because I have the feeling that whenever my internet quality is bad, my internet speed is low and I upload an image, the image is uploaded in a worse quality. So make sure that you have a high speed internet, quick internet when you upload your picture. Now the second thing that I do, and I think this is even more important, is how you export the image. Make sure that you don't use too many different apps when you're editing those pictures because all of these apps and sending it from one app to the other, compressing it, kind of gets the quality down. So what I do is, as most of you guys know, I use Lightroom on my mobile phone, the free version to edit my pictures. And then what you wanna do is really make sure to export the image from the Lightroom app the right way and I'm gonna show you how to do this right now. So when we're in Lightroom right here, the first thing I do is I crop it to the size that Instagram wants and they want that four by five dimension and probably that's what I upload most of the time is that portrait mode. So it's that four times five right here and now you can see it's cropped to that perfect Instagram size here. We hit the check mark if you choose the area you like and now you hit that export logo up here export as right there and what you want to do is make sure it's jpeg right here then you want to have the dimensions custom and then you want to go to long side right here and you want to type in 1080 so 1080 because this is the highest quality that instagram can post and this way it doesn't have to compress a larger image or anything like that so make sure to do that then image quality here 100 percent and then hit the check mark on the upper right side. And now it lets you export this image right here, save image. And now you have it in your camera roll and now you can upload it to your Instagram account. As I said in the beginning, make sure the internet connection is quick and then you will get the best possible outcome, the highest possible quality on your Instagram post. I hope you liked this video. I hope this was helpful and I did a quick one because I really didn't want to waste your time. I just wanted to give you the solution right here. That's how I do it. That's how I achieve high quality uploads. Let me know what you think about it and I can't wait to see your crispy sharp pictures on Instagram. Till then, take care. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell, and if you need anything, always feel free to DM me on Instagram. At Stephen Womack is my handle, and I'm always happy to hear from you guys. Now stay safe, stay healthy. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.